<laughs> strangely, what, there's quite a long sort of complex uh, evolutionary history to the Dragon books, and it really begins with me right at the start of my writing career, wanting to write a story for my wife for Christmas. I had bought a, um, a stuffed animal, a uh, stuffed animal, a polar bear, beautiful thing. And uh, I thought it would be nice and romantic to write a sweet little story about him for Christmas. So I knew that polar bears were big and white and they lived in the Arctic and, and that kind of thing and, and they ate seals. But I didn't know an awful lot about them. So I went to my local library and uh, did the research. And the more I found out about them, the, the bigger my, my small Christmassy story grew. And I, you know, I sort of uh, realized that they were heavily involved in Inuit legend, and I found out about how they migrated you know, across Hudson Bay and all that kind of thing. And the, sh the, sh the short story that I intended to write for my wife actually turned into a 250,000 word novel. Now that novel is still in my, what we call, a writer calls their bottom drawer. It's never, it's never come out, except that small inserts of it actually appear in um, Icefire in, in, in the second book. So um, I think it's important for a writer to, to, to do research, and get, especially if you're going to talk about a, a system, a, an ecological system like the Arctic, which is a very precise location to, to, to talk about. Um, and you need to know your stuff. And I watched dozens of videos and I read lots and lots of books and I talked to people who'd been there. I've never been myself. Um, so that, that helped. But with the dragons, it was, it was easy because the dragons actually, because the big fire-breathing monster type dragons don't really appear until later in the series. I didn't have to do too much research about them and I could obviously I could place them wherever I wanted to in, in the world um, and it basically I kind of tied in the locations for the dragons into places that I knew such as the Arctic and strangely enough places in England and, and Scotland and, and so on and, and later moved of course to America for the American editions of the books.